everybody, hope you're doing marvelously well. We're big, we're bad, we're back in Laurel Canyon, of course, at the studio, Spitfire Studio. And today's video is going to be about seven gifts that you could buy your favorite studio owner. I think one of the things that I love about being here in Spitfire, of course, is that, you know, we've got a blend of everything from SSL consoles to guitars and amps and rack gear and all kinds of fun things. But this episode is going to be really fun because it's going to be not about those things. It's going to be things like coffee makers and all kinds of fun stuff. So this will be the seven gifts that you could buy for your favorite studio owner, or of course, for yourself. <laughs> That rings a bell. Okay, here is easily my favorite guitar pedal ever. I was turned on to this by Mr. Tim Pierce, maybe blah, 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 like eight, nine, ten years ago, when I used to do a lot of work with him as a guitar player on, a, on my productions. Wonderful, wonderful musician. And I always was like, what guitar sound is that? And he's like, it's this pedal. It's the Nobles ODR1. It is an amazing guitar pedal. Here is, take it off completely clean guitar sound. It's actually set to less than two. Put this on. It responds just like an amp, so I can... It's really a beautiful pedal. And that's, that's with the drive barely on. I can go drive-tastic. It's great. Absolutely amazing pedal. If you don't have one of these in your studio, or if you're looking for a pedal to give your favorite guitar player or frankly just a studio owner a producer an engineer and mixer you cannot go wrong with this guitar pedal it has become i know we're all going to hate this and i'm going to use the phrase industry standard there's certain pieces of equipment that are just something you really need to have you're going to get a classic great guitar sound with this no matter what clean amp you go through cannot speak highly enough about this pedal and i'm not the only one i mean it's considered to be um, i did it again industry standard the nobles odr1 great gift for that guitar playing or guitar recording friend or family member or for yourself and here it is the marshall refrigerator do you think every studio to have one of these? It's got a presence control, a bass control, a middle control, a treble control, a master, preamp gain. You've got to get the preamp gain just right for the milk. You know, you can't, you if you don't get it right, it will go sour. Now, all seriousness, oh, the switch is working. I haven't even tried yet. Marshall refrigerator, really cool. I can't tell you how many times I've reached in here to grab something and somebody has said, wait there, that's a refrigerator? So, pretty darn cool. Every studio should have one. So here we have a coffee maker. This one's pretty darn special though. I do actually read occasionally, and I did read, a Rolling Stone article talking about how awesome this coffee maker is. So we got it. It's really revolutionary, and of course, like all modern things, it has an application. I think the kids call them apps. And with this app, you can do anything. You can decide what kind of coffee you want to make, uh, a ristretto, is that right? Italians, I'm really sorry. Espresso, an espresso rocket. Presumably that means like, oh, ultra. You wanna get, you've gotta wake up the drummer, you know, it's, it's really laid back and drank a little bit too much last night. Sound familiar? And so they need like an extra shot of espresso. You can do that. There's a Lungo, I have no idea what that is, but apparently it's a, a, a Doppio, don't know what it is, but I know what Americano is. Personally, that's my drink of choice when I drink coffee. A straightforward coffee, the mug size, a cold brew nitro, a cold brew drip, pour over XL. But anyway, the point is, is like it will make it all for you. You just select it and off you go. Now, I presume this is for cream? Yeah, we haven't figured that out yet. They haven't figured it out. I would say that's probably for cream. 
This is, oh wow, and this is a travel mug. Look, so travel mug, rather lovely. And then this over here is the coffee frother, which is extra by the way, it's not, it doesn't come with it. So if you want to froth your coffee, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Is that some kind of prison term? Froth your coffee? If you want to froth your coffee, here is the froth the coffee maker there. This machine does it all. You basically put the beans in, in their purest form. In fact, they've already been put in and it will grind it and make it from scratch. All these different ones. It's pretty freaking awesome. Do you love it, Eric? Oh, it was delicious. It was delicious. So it's called The Spin with two ends. There will be a link below. Pretty darn amazing. It's been a hit in the studio. Here we go. First sip of Spin Coffee Blend 01. That's a good coffee. So all this talk of coffee has got me thinking about what I love, and of course it would be a good cup of PG Tips. So let's go and check out a kettle. And here is, but to be honest, my favorite kettle. It's a Cuisinart. This one is about nine years old. When I used to live in this house, this was our kettle and it still is the kettle use, and I had the exact same one at my new house. That's how much I believe them. I have no idea how expensive they are. I don't think it's that expensive, but when you've had something for nine years and it still works and makes a great cup of tea, then I'm very happy. So here's a really, really important and pretty awesome one. Pop screen, or windshield, or whatever the heck you want to call it. I think we call it pop screen. Did we call it about pop screen back in the old Angleterra? I think we did. This is made by our good friends at Jay-Z, or as I like to say in uh, the UK, Jay-Z. Oh, actually, most of Europe as well. We were talking to them about this because we loved it. We thought it sounded amazing. And I love how compact it is, and I can get it right on the capsule where I want it. And they said to us, they sell schnizzle tons worth of microphones, but apparently this is like their biggest selling product. They cannot make these fast enough. It has become very, very popular. It's really, really good. I've absolutely loved using this. I love how the footprint's small. You can use it on a capsule. It's not massive and annoying, and the singer can put their lyrics up here and read them. It's quite a big deal. When you've got those huge ones there, you end up like putting them down really, really low and having the plastic edge in the way of it because you've got lyric sheets here. It's a very, very smart idea to make it capsule sized and you can get it super tight and however you want it. So awesome. Check it out. JZ Pop Screen. So some of you may have noticed that I'm sitting on a drum stool, which as a guitar player happens quite a lot because you need something with either no arms or arms that drop. So why don't we check out a chair that does all of those things as well as being ultra comfortable. And here doth it be. So I love these short back rests here. It gets right to the small of my back here and is super, super comfortable. Also, look at that, arms go down. Can I have a guitar please, young Eric? Eric's handing me a guitar here, look. So, yeah, totally out of tune, but infinitely playable. I am not banging my arm against anything. So, a really, really nice chair. This is the Ergo Lab. It's super, super comfortable. It also has this kind of mesh here. Now, that might sound silly, but you'll notice all of the expensive chairs, all of the really comfortable expensive chairs have it, because then it doesn't get sweaty. Now, if you're like me, you work in a studio 12 to 15 hours a day. Sometimes Eric and I are in here till the early hours of the morning. And if you're sitting in a chair for extended periods of time, it can get really A, uncomfortable, B, also kind of wet and sweaty and disgusting. And this mesh just allows it to breathe. It's a beautiful chair. We've had it now for a few weeks, totally adjustable in all ways, shapes or forms. It's even Eric sized. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just great. It's a really, really wonderful chair. Um, it's not cheap, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's, really super durable. We really love this chair and we're going to give one of these away. So if you go down there, there is a link to win one of these beautiful chairs. So don't forget to enter to win. Did you see Eric? <laughs> 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 
And next up, we have the obligatory lava lamp. No studio in the world would be without a resplendent, beautiful, gorgeous lava lamp. I mean, just look at it. It's called an Opulars. I think we got this off of Amazon for how much? It was cheap. It's gorgeous. It's the obligatory thing to have in a studio. So invest in one. It's, it makes a nice little Christmas gift anyway. 20 buck present. Next up, and actually not included in our top seven, but we're just sneaking it in, is our good friend Bob Horn, I'm sure you know, who we have a lovely course coming out with any day now, um, gave this to me a couple of years ago. As I'm sure you know, I'm a massive Queen fan. So this is uh, the Brian May. And these are called uh, Funko, and they're the Pop Rocks. And you can get any, pretty much any rock star, any actor, any person you can think of. So nice, silly, fun gift. And they're really inexpensive. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you haven't already got all of these gifts, I'm sure you will, because this is pretty standard studio stuff. Well, maybe not. Maybe so. All right, thanks ever so much for checking it out. That was a lot of fun to do. Go grab yourself a lava lamp, a Pop Rocks, Brian May, um, a Marshall refrigerator. Definitely get yourself a really good coffee maker. It, the best studios I've ever been to always have the best coffee makers. So that might be a differentiator. Kettle for tea, for warming up the vocal cords. Don't go too hot, don't go too cold. A good, comfortable chair is a must, especially one that the arms go up and down. And a pop screen. A really, really good pop filter is fantastic. And we can't say enough good things about the Jay-Z, the Jay-Z. It is absolutely superb. And like I said, it's their biggest selling product. They sell schnizzle tons of them because people love them. So have a marvelous Christmas, Hanukkah, um, holiday time. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. And we'll see you all again very soon. So long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, au revoir. Adios, goodbye.